This video gives you an idea how you may want to use Python programming language to perform, automate your Siebel structural calculations. Uh, I'm going to use an example of the book Structural Engineering Art and Approximation to calculate the bending moment, deflection, and shear law for two loading conditions. Loading condition one is a triangular loading case, a symmetrical triangular. I will call it uh, the actual loading conditions. And the second one, I equivalent UDL. This example in practice we may encounter when we design a lintel, such as this one enclosed in yellow. You could see here, for instance, the, the low em envelope. The, pretty much a double uh, symmetrical uh, triangular loading case. And before jumping into Python, I'm going to break a bit, a bit further this section of the book in the next section. And as I said before, at the early stages of any uh, a project you want to avoid oversight in the architectural design process. Therefore, ideally, you don't want to uh, perform uh, complex, refined calculations at the very early stages. Therefore, you want to perform, as I said, uh, rough, reliable calculations. So. For that case, this method is uh, quite useful. Um, what I want to do is, I want to transfer the, this peak law of the triangular case into our uh, equival equivalent UDL law. So what I'm going to do is to re replace in the formula of the simply supported beam, as you could see at the maximum moment, the maximum deflection, what I'm going to do is replace the, the, the UDL law, sorry, the UDL law equal to two thirds of the triangular peak law, and then perform the calculations as a normal, simple, simply supported bin. And the next section I'm going to talk about the program itself and explain the difference a little bit further. Uh, the difference in, in, in the output, what things we could consider. For instance, by using uh, the equivalent UDL law, we will have a reaction of 33% higher than the actual loading for the, I mean, for the triangular loading. We got to have the bending moment equal to the actual loading conditions. The maximum deflection we have I, for the rough calculations, we got a 4% higher than the for the actual loading conditions. So that will be evident when we see the example using Python. Inside uh, Python environment, this is the Python script for these mathematical expre expre expressions. And, and I normally when I do coding, I split into three for the input data, for writing the functions, and for the output data, and also I make sure myself the, the unit consistency. For example, um, I want to have the bending moments in kilonewton per meter and the deflection in millimeters, right? And also it's quite impor important to say the in this section of the the body of the script itself, uh, I give here the instructions. I mean, I do command Python for me to do things like, for example, to automate. You know, let's say, for instance, I will say Python. Python. I want to calculate as a equivalent UDL. So, and then I could press yes, and I give this function as well. I, I press here as a yes. 
Otherwise, I would say Python, I'm instructing you to uh, calculate this as a triangular load. So that in that case, I will write the equations for that condition here. Alright, that's the background of how you could do programming. And then let's run this program. And uh, zero, 23 kilonewton per meter. The, we're going to use a high steel band of a meter span. The young modulus of it will be make sure the unit consistency in all cases and um, UD equivalent UDL, yes, uh, lower case. So let's do the analysis for the other case for the actual loading conditions. Let's run again. Uh, zero, dead low. 23 a meter span steel modulus is 3710 this is the moment of inertia of this section no I want an equivalent UDL no I don't want that so I want for the actual loading conditions and I go here the output so let's look at that what the theory says if you do the analysis as equivalent, you will have a reaction or a shell law of 33% higher than the actual one. The bending moments are equal for both cases. The deflection is for the equivalent UDL is 4% higher than the actual one. So in context, let's do the analysis of, the, of it. For the equivalent UDL, it says that the shell law is 33% higher than the actual one, which is 46. The bending moment for both cases are the same, equal to 1, 122 kilonewton per meter. In the deflection for, uh, for the equivalent is 10.5, which is slightly higher than the other one, roughly 4% than the actual one. And for these loading conditions, you could see the, the, the critical one is the shallow but for other loading conditions could be the bending moment or the deflection and as you if you delve into that into the book you'll see for other loading conditions that yeah the bending moments are higher or the deflection so you gotta do analysis for for different cases well i hope this video encourage uh, engineers to explore programming for uh, I mean to automate your engineering engineering tasks on a daily basis uh, you could create your BS uh, programs okay I hope uh, this is useful for you guys see you till next time